Hi everybody, it's Lisa Maxwell. I haven't been able to um, do a reading in a while, um, but I am here and I did do this uh, as a live card pull on Facebook Live, so that video is um, gonna be posted up there for you. Um, in the meantime, I have the Queen of Hearts. This is funny, she keeps sort of making her, her show here and <laughs> she's not a, uh, my Jamaica. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, she keeps kind of showing up here and now she's here. So we'll just bring her in as well. I didn't bring this into the reading, the live reading, but certainly go visit that so you can see um, the live pull of the cards. I'm using the um, Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue, Rodley Valentine, artwork by Stephen A. Steve A. Roberts. So the cards that we came out with today for this is a, this is the post Virgo new moon. Um, um, reading and um, so the five of fire came out and fire is the wands in um, other tarot um, uh, decks king of water came out we have the two of water that came out water are cups in other decks four of air came out that is those that would be the swords and then um, well we have our queen of hearts so she would also be um, Queen of Hearts is, I, I think Hearts in a 52 deck is, um, uh, la, 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 um, wands, wands for sure. Um, and then are there, maybe they're cups. Yeah. Cups. So more cups. So the Queen of Water and the King of Water came out. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we had the Four of Fire, the Lovers, and then the six of fire, and we can keep going on and on, but these are, this is also energy that's also, that's not only supportive, but also coming in as we work through um, this lovely um, setup that we have. I also pulled a couple of cards for my personal reading this morning, the, the reading that, um, and from the, um, I didn't say this one, Power Animal Oracle Card Deck by Stephen D. Farmer, PhD. So we got the um, dolphin and the otter, Playful energy is certainly afoot, which is five of fire. This isn't the swords. This is definitely wands. And so this may be, these are competing goals. So it may be like, wow, I have so many like amazing ideas and I need to get them all done now. And one of the things I brought in, I talked a lot about, um, the energy that we're come, that's in that video, the a lot of the astrology, we just had a Virgo new moon and what that means. Now, you know, we can get to September and Virgo and all of that and be like, oh, wow, all of a sudden, I only have a third of this year. I made all these plans earlier on in the year and I'm either only here with them. I don't like the plans that I am working on. I'm not loving what I'm doing. Um, and I need to scrap everything or whatever. There's a sense of urgency all of a sudden that may be coming upon you that, that then all of a sudden puts you into this like, you know, I need to get everything done now. And if it isn't done now, then I'm going to freak out. Well, you know what? All of a sudden now we've turned this into the five of swords, which is a, um, a sharper energy for sure. And that's thoughts and that's just using pure logic rather than including passion. And so, you know, there's not a lot of earth energy in here aside from, and now Virgo is a mutable sign, it's mutable earth. So it's a transformational um, energy of, um, the material, what matters in our life, what's actually happening in our life, what, what matters to us. But we need to actually ground by bringing in that logic, right? But we're doing it in a way that's grounded. So a four is, is going to be structure, right? You've got four sides. And we also have the four of wands here too that came up in the, oh, that's actually the lovers. Oh, here it is, four of fire. You know, this is a contentment. So find, look around you, look around you at what is um, working in your life. This is an invitation to look at what is working, do that assessment, you know, take the time to meditate, to really feel and listen to your heart, take time to listen and see like, okay, well, these things aren't turning out like I wanted them to. Does that mean I'm going to throw it all away and scrap the whole deal? No, but it does mean that maybe I need to do that Virgo thing, transform it. And I'm saying the devil is in the details. Like Virgo can be a very detail oriented um, time of year. And, but if we get like really mired in the details of either, yeah, again, what's not working or what hasn't come to fruition or you know, or just, you know, I don't know, and double down on that stuff and keep doing them the same way. No, it's actually just take that perspective back. 
to, you know, be more compassionate with ourselves, to be in a compassionate leadership. So we're actually not, um, so we're in a more, um, we're taking leadership of the situation, but in a way that's heartfelt. So, you know, the queen of, of um, cups is here in, you know, obviously a, a playing card deck, but she, she certainly showed up as I was preparing to do this reading for Instagram uh, folks. So, you know, we want to do this in a compassionate and creative way. Look at what's working. Look at what's in and start to take a more creative and playful approach. Not one that's, uh, you know, I have to get all of this done. You know, sure, we're going to do that reassessment once we come to Capricorn. We have the fall to do these kinds of things. So let's come to it with a sense of joy and to recognize Six of Fire was also in the bottom of the deck. This is a, a coming, you know, to really appreciate like where you're at. You know, this is not looking to other people for validation or validation from our job or utilizing, you know, uh, whatever yardstick it is like, oh, well, you know, in, in a checklisty kind of fashion. No, let's look at things about how do I feel about stuff? How do I feel about it? Do I feel like I'm, you know, you know, like really assess and, and be proud of what you are and yeah, and be, be honest with yourself. You know, be honest with yourself. Use meditation time to be honest with yourself about what you have, haven't have maybe gotten done. But there's no reason to, like, be mean about it. Again, come back to Dolphin. Be playful. Like, it's okay, well, you know what? This is where maybe I need to tighten up the reins a little bit. Be in a better type of leadership. Partner up with myself a little bit better or partner up with my situations. Maybe it's your long-term friendships. Maybe you're bringing in other kinds of resources. Like, what do I need to partner up with? And we have the lover's card here too. So again, there's there's some kind of divine partnership coming in. It doesn't necessarily need need to be a person. If you get really fixated on just what this these two cards mean, this is divine partnership. And I'm going to tell you it's with yourself. I think that, you know, we need to partner up with ourselves a heck of a lot better in order to have the kinds of relationships that we want externally. When we come through as our authentic selves and we really are working hand in hand with ourselves, the kinds of partnerships that we want in the external world, maybe they're, you know, again, a better re-engagement or a better connection or a better partnership with the work that you do, with the place where you live, with the people around you. It could be your long-term friendships. It could be your cousins. You know what I mean? Your family or whatever. You know, this is definitely like, you know, family life or, you know, the, the, the core members of a family that, you know, of a family. Um, but you know, at, you know, and four and the four of air comes up and this is again, contentment, a happy home life, you know, your happy home life, charity starts at home and your happy, your home is in you. It doesn't matter what your external circumstances are. Your happy home life is always going to be in your heart. So, you know, be playful, be loving to yourself and, um, everything around you will absolutely change. You know, some of these bothersome details, like this is at the beginning of the reading. And then we come down to like, you know, this kinds of stuff at the bottom of the deck. Like this is, you know, don't try to do too much. Let's, let's be, let's be awesome with ourselves. Let's take that. Let's take that Virgo energy. Like some of the things that we, what I talked about at the beginning of the live video on Facebook was about how, you know, a couple of weeks ago we had that blue moon where maybe it felt like an avalanche, a tsunami of things was coming in. And we were making like really big changes that felt fiery, which Leo is a fire sign, felt very fiery. Um, and we've been, maybe the past two weeks have kind of felt like that. You know, now it's time in this new moon to say, maybe kind of take that step back and re take that step back, reassess what's going on, what has happened in the past two weeks, and maybe go back to even Pisces seasons or, or, or season or even that eclipse back in April, you know, see like going back to all of that energy and, um, you know, taking a look, okay, okay, this is what's happened. Here's where I'm at. Now, what do I want to do to kind of make some tweaks in order to come in toward Capricorn season at the end of the year and utilize the fall to plant seeds. That's a new moon time, you know, plant the seeds and maybe of, of different kinds of approaches. Let's not get mired down in the details of what has or hasn't occurred. You know, look at those things, you know, and uh, the other thing was, um, what also came up was, let's get not mired down in the details of, you know, maybe those things haven't happened. Okay, well, they have it, but what is working? And not being fearful about moving forward or, you know, being, or even beating yourself up about taking those tiny steps that wind up being really big, big steps at, at some point. Let's not be afraid of making small moves, small tweaks, and recognizing that, um, you know, it really, it, it don't sweat the small stuff, but make the small stuff, you know, maybe more meaningful and, and joyful and joyful. 
the way it becomes more meaningful is the way it and, and becomes, you know, really becomes matter is when we are adding that element of playfulness. And the other thing is, is, you know, water is definitely coming up here in these two central cards as well as in these two lovely animals, but the otter is also grounded. It's an otter and um, it's, it's a water and land creature. So, um, you know, we want to combine those elef elements in order, elephants, ha ha ha, elephants, there we are, they're coming in as well, but um, to, you know, to make the kinds of, of life that we really want for ourselves and utilize um, the, 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 what is the last third of this year in the way that we want to, which is always with a joyful perspective. So again, I invite you to, again, my, my name is Lisa Maxwell, and I invite you to um, check out that live video on Facebook. Um, I'll also post this to YouTube if that's a good for, platform for you. Pass this to anybody that you know um, and any kind of social um, media thing. The algorithm is always that sharing is, is the way you get the word out there and, and we, we get this more visible. Um, if you want your own private reading, um, you can direct message me or just comment, you know, and we'll reach out that way. Um, yeah, whatever. Just And certainly comment about any questions or concerns you have or we can talk. All right. Thanks again. I hope you enjoy.